go inside the world of the star's original series, Outlander, with a deeper look into episode 110. The episode's called By the Pricking of My Thumbs, which is the title of a chapter drawn directly from the book that dealt with the events that happened in this episode. The Duke of Sandringham's a fascinating character. He's putting many bets on both the Jacobites and the Redcoats so that no matter which side turns up, the Duke will be on the winning side. And we wanted the Duke to just be portrayed as somewhat of a slippery character that's sort of larger than life, but has a lot of machinations, a lot of internal wheels clicking over. She's a complicated sort of fascinating character, which is how he was, he was in the book. And it was great to have Simon come in and portray him uh, for us. Do tell your wife it wasn't my fault. We went with this idea that he stays and sort of he rents properties or he has multiple houses. And it was tricky to find something that didn't over overwhelm Castle Leak. I didn't want him to have something bigger than Castle Leak, but it also had to sort of convey a sense of opulence, true wealth, and, you know, the English aristocracy as opposed to the Scottish aristocracy. So we went to a place called Hopeton House, which is more of a museum now, and you can go there and uh, tour the grounds. And if you go to the actual location, you'll see that actually we erased part of the building. So we thinned out the wings on either side of the main house just to make it a little less grandiose, a little less over the top. So again, it didn't overshadow Castle Leak. I suppose it'll have to do. There's a lot of Scottish superstition and folklore in this episode. Uh, this is sort of picking up on something that we established back in episode one, back in Sassanac, where Frank says, There's no place on earth where more magic and superstition mix into his daily life in the Scottish Highlands. And that sort of sense of Scotland uh, permeates the book and really permeates our show, the sense that this is a very old country with a lot of old traditions and that there are mystical things and things beyond our explanation that happen here. The story of the Changeling Baby, which was drawn directly from the book. The Ill Wish comes up, as well as Galus Duncan's Pagan Dance by the Stones, which echoes back again to the dancers in episode uh, 101. Galus Duncan has been suspected of witchcraft for a very long time. You're under arrest for witchcraft. That will have consequences in the next episode, 111, when a lot of this uh, Scottish superstition and folklore comes back to bite both Galus and Claire. Thank you.